Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and I am kind of hooked on the altered playing cards. So it might be a long video, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. This is so much fun. I'm sure everyone has done this and seen this, but I have not. I had not. I have now, but I had not. All you need is some cheap playing cards. Go to your thrift store, get a deck of cards that not even all there. You don't need all of them. I just bought these at, I really don't remember. They were under a dollar, something like that. I'm not quite sure even where I got them at. I bought them intending to do this a few months ago. But all beside the point, that's all you need. Just need some cards, playing cards. And the first thing I do is I get the ones out that I want. See, I'm not real crazy about him, so I went ahead and sanded him off. Let me get my sander here. My sleeves down. It's kind of cold in here. But the first thing I do, let's see if there's any more in here. I just can't resist doing this. I love playing cards. And I love doing that. So sorry. I just had to do it. Couldn't resist. So you can see how they are when they're not sanded. I don't think there's any more cards in here that I don't particularly care for. The kings weren't look disgruntled and the um, jacks look disgruntled. So just go for the two. Doesn't really matter. But the first thing I do is, because they do have a gloss sheen on them, just get that sheen off so that if you glue something to it, it will adhere to it. And it also gives them an aged look. I like this soft sanding block. Have some more coming from Amazon. I'll just put the link below. But I like that it's soft. This lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. It lasts so long I had to buy from another company. I couldn't find the other one. But just until you don't have that glossy sheen on it. Because I like to glue things on mine and I like them to stay. Got that one a bit much off. But anyway. And if you want to darken the edges with the um, ink or something, be sure and get the edges like that because they will also have that gloss sheen on them. And this is just, I have done some without prepping them like this. And whatever glue I use, it doesn't stick. So, let's get this cleaned up. Saw that process, which is really simple. No biggie. Put the cards up. There we go. Let me get this. I just have a cloth, just an old, 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 old tea towel, and just rub them off so you get some of it off. That way it's not all dusty. how I prep them. So what I like to do is I like to do the little window. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. You'll need two cards for the window. You can see that disgruntled uh, came there. Yeah, since I'm going to sew these, I didn't, uh, my goodness, I didn't sandpaper him because I'm going to sew this together. But if you were, you would need to sandpaper him also. But I did scrap up the back. And I die cut these with, put them through my machine and use a die cut because I don't have a hand punch that, I have a round one, but it would take up the whole thing. All beside the point. 
So if you do die cut them, make sure you die cut them the same direction so when you put them together, they will fit perfectly. And sometimes if you do them this way, then it's kind of off-centered if you don't do them the same exact direction. If you're okay with the off-centered, that's fine. I just wanted my frames to be perfectly together, so then I kept them together with a paper clip. I have a few of these. And also, what else was I gonna tell you? I think that's it. But I figured out a way to use tape that I don't, let me make sure that you, you are all the way in. Get that back a little bit more there. Okay, thank you. So you can get your little piece because I want to put a little piece on the center, but I want to have clear around the edges and in the frame, like it's a floating frame. That's awesome, isn't it? So I let's see my little pieces here. I just got some little scraps for these. And I like these little poison bottles, so I just cut two of them and then glued them together so you can see them on each side. And then the little blackbirds, I thought that would be cute. Just got some scraps to get those little pieces. You can put anything in there. I did put a dried petal from a dried flower. Let me see the dried flower. See, but I probably should have gotten it from one that I had dried flat because see how it's browning. Anyway, I used that, didn't like that too much. So I'll show you that in a little bit. So all you need to do is set those aside and set your little piece aside and make sure that it's going to, that one's too big. I made one for a smaller one and one for a bigger one. That one will work just fine. That will be for the other one. What you wanna do is just take your tape off plenty of your tape. You can always roll it back up if you have too much. Hold on. Technical difficulties. There we go. And what I do is just take it and set it right there in the middle and just press that down really well. I always get bubbles and I'm not too worried about that at all. It doesn't bother me. But I do like for my pieces to be stuck really well. So, then the other side, just get your card. Once you've done it a few times, you'll know. And see what I'm doing? I'm folding it over so that it's just smaller than this. And then press your fingers down right here. See what I'm doing? Just like if you do... Um, tinting windows or something. You want to just slowly go all the way up. There. Let's see, that will fit in there nicely. Very nice. Uh, where's my bone folder? This comes in handy, the one with the tip, but don't do it so hard that you make a hole in your tape. Just go around it a little bit like that. And then I take it and press down. Go from the inside out. And I just leave it on the roll there until I get finished doing this. Just kind of holds it for you. You might want to do it a few times. Depends on how many bubbles is in yours. Or if you care. Or if I just like mine to be stuck really well. Just gonna go around that one more time. Just don't press down so much that you do cut your tape because you'll have to do this process all over again. That's kind of annoying. Okay, now I need my scissors. Just cut that off. Let's put this aside. Very nice. So, I know the king is going to be the back. This is how it's going to look. It's going to be so cute. Just 
this fits in there nicely like that and that will go over it see you have a floating frame so cute and once you've done it a few times you'll know how much tape you need to use and you won't be wasting as much like i am wasting but for a good cause all for a good cause I'm going to trim some of this off because I want to be sure and have enough space to glue around there. Well, that did not work, did it? <laughs> awesome. There we go. Let me pick up these pieces of trash. Okay, do we need to cut some more off? I'm gonna cut just a little bit more off at this end. Especially if you're not sewing, I'm going to sew these, but if you're not sewing, you definitely want them to be, to leave enough room so that the glue will stick. Not so the glue will stick. Yes, so the glue will adhere to both of the cards because it will not adhere to this. Unless you have some special glue that adheres to plastic tape. So, which one do I want facing the tan? Do I want the orange and black? Or do I want... Well, they're both orange and black. But this one has a little skull on it. That one looks spooky, doesn't it? Which one? I think I'll do this one. This one facing. So, just take a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot at all you don't want it to seep through to the front. A little bit of glue around here. And a little bit kind of to the edges of where this will be going. Just center it up in there. That's going to be cute. Always messy getting it on my fingers. That'll be alright. Okay, now you want a really thin, unless you're not sewing. If you're not sewing, then you use some good, um, some glue that will adhere really well and use a lot so these will stick together. But I'm just putting a thin layer on the outside and a thin layer on the tape there. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty thin layer. And then my face card, that one's going to be the face or the front, however you say it. And just put some pressure on it. Hold it for just a minute there. Make sure you have your cards in place where you want them to be. And is that not so adorable? Love it, love it. Press it real quick here. So glad I am at my big desk. I brought my big desk in here. My love is much better. Things are recuperating really well. Okay, awesome. That little part is done. So I am going to, and you don't have to ink the edges or anything, but I am. I'm going to use the Distress Ink Walnut Stain. Just gonna do the edges up a bit. I'm just random, I'm not real. Not a professional, I just like it to look kinda old. I'm gonna scrub it up a bit. So you can always add a little bit more. You're nice and scrubby looking. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. We are here. Here, see, that's cute, very cute. That part done. So what else are we going to do with this one? Kind of want the back to stay pretty much how it is. I really like that. 
Yeah, I think I'm not going to add anything to the back of this one because I liked all that. What I'm going to do is sew. So I know you won't be able to see this very well. I apologize, but my camera kind of is just in one spot there. But you can see. You can't see. I know you can't. Let me just go ahead and sew this real quick and we can get this done. I just sew around the edges. I think I do. I'm going to go. Let's go all the way down to that corner. X marks the spot. I think that is cute. Let's just do that. And there is no rhyme or reason sometimes to how I sew. Sometimes I just like to just do whatever. There we go. Oops. <laughs> awesome. Smart spot, yes, I like that. That's cute. I do all kinds of different patterns and things. So, what I'm going to do next is decide whether am I going to keep these or not. As I keep hitting that, I think I'm going to let's get a let's get. I want a black one. Let's get black. Get one of these. Bulb pen. And you can use crocodile in here and make a hole. And I'm not make a hole, but you can use the crocodile and put the eyelet and everything on there. Or you can just make a hole in them because these are really thick once you get two of them together. Where's the smallest hole? Over here, okay. I like to put it the opposite of the number, but that's just where I like to put it at. But I put them both ways, both sides, somewhere in between. Let's see, this needs to be bigger. There. Okay, this way is up. Oh, crocodile, where are we going to put this hole at? There we go. And let's see if that is enough for this. Oh, yeah, that's great. That'll work. I'll just do that. How about that? Oh, 
Oh, hold on. Let me stretch way over here. A little bit of noise. There. Get my little, get my little doodads out here. Let's see what we want to put on it. How about we put a little playing card? I like this jack, so let's put Jack on there. And kind of looks piratey. How about I get one of these little daggers? Won't that be cute? Let's get the rose gold. I think the rose gold. Well, maybe not. How about that? That one? No, you can't really see that one, can you? Let's get the rose. I think rose gold when it's in this, I think they look kind of rusty. That's cute. That'll look cute. That little rusty looking thing in there. That's cute. Anything else on there? No. There. There we go. I don't know if this will go on here and look okay or not, if we need to put a jump ring on it. Oh, that's cute. That'll work. That's really cute. That's really, really cute. Let's get some beads out here. I'm keeping that crocodile out because I need to put a hole in this. Which way do we want to put the hole? I'm not sure we want that on there or not. Hold off on the pinch in the hole for that one. And I leave the strings on sometimes. Sometimes I cut them off and sometimes I put beads on the strings. The thread, I mean, not strings, it actually thread. Okay, what color do we want? Oh, well, that's a, that's a no-brainer. We're going to do orange, obviously. So, which, how do we want the beads on? We want the beads to be on first for this side, and then we'll put some more on the back side. Okay, got that down. We want some black. Hold on. Wait a minute, that one's already done. Why don't we just abandon this? Use that one. Oops. How does it unpin? This side is first. Okay. So we want to go like that. Then have our little dagger on there. I'm not sure, because it's going to cover up the little dagger. Let's not do that. Let's see what we got here so far. Bear with me here. I have really big hands. These are really tiny things. Your little dagger. That's cute, but I don't like the beads behind. Okay. I know. Taking longer than you think, probably. It should. Hands, little beads. Okay. 
I think that will be good. Okay, let's put it on here and let's keep going. Bear with me just a second here. It's real time here. How did I do that? Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. Oh, I don't know how I did that. Okay, this is taking way too long. There we go. My, my, that was a challenge, wasn't it? There we go. That little white bee was just determined. So we just took it off. There we go. Bye bye, little white bee. That's cute. Really cute. Super cute. Okay, what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to say it's not going to take a long time because apparently that little bitty <laughs> ball pin took forever. The one I want, just using a needle, any needle, whatever needle you want to use. Thread it. Well, not thread it. With the needle threader on it. There it is. Awesome, so now I am going to put some more beads on here. Let's get some. White. Black, white, and orange, obviously. Two colors of orange here, so. Try to hurry this along, not take too much of your time, because I don't edit my videos. I just put them up there. Don't have a lot of time to edit. White. Another orange one. Let's see how far that's going to hang down. That'll be fine. Just about right there. So then what you want to do is skip that first bead. See the first bead? Don't go back through it because you'll undo everything you just did. Go to the second bead and just go right back through them. Just like that. See, skip the first one. Skip the first bead and go back through the other ones the opposite direction that you just went in. Just pull them down on there. Just tug on them, don't have to be really rough with them. Then my string that is connected on the back, my thread, not string, thread. There, so take care of that and just, just like you as you're tying something up, when you're sewing, that fold has to go over there. We need this. We need some help here. I've done a lot of these and have never had any or all of this trouble. Just for you. Just for you. Hmm. 
Oh my. I do apologize. I don't know why this is taking, this is such a challenge today. It shouldn't be. Just wanted to show you how you can really put your beads on and use the thread and here we go. Awesome. Now we're, I usually tie it up three or more times. That's just what I do. You can tie it up, at least tie it two times. I'm not going to use any more of this thread and I don't want it hanging down. See, there you go. You got some little beads hanging down. And you got, you could use your crop it out and put an eyelet there, but I don't think it's necessary. I only use it when I really think I need one. And there's some bees. There's a little dagger that goes along with that. It's so cute. Don't need a lot of stuff to make it just adorable. And Jack is not going to go on here. We're going to put Jack aside. Let's put Jack over there. You can do all other sorts of things to them, but this is just the basic cute it up. And I'm not going to bore you with doing some more beads, but I'll put some more beads over there later. And let's go ahead and just do a regular card. Just a card, any card, just a regular card. Let's just do the two. Didn't cut anything in it, nothing. I like to have a space to write when there's some old book pages. Oops, no big deal. Just put these on the back. Let's just get them aged up a bit here. Just a little bit. whatever you want to do with these, but I am going to put a washi sticker. Let me put the lid on this before I spill it. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm going to put a washi sticker on that. I think that would be pretty. Since it's a blank spot in the middle there. Let's get some of these washi stickers out. I've got these and I've already used several of them. Of them. I really like them. Sorry for the noise. I don't even have them put away yet. That's way too big. Definitely don't want one that takes up the whole. Just want one in the center. Yeah, it's a little bit big too, isn't it? Just something small. Well, that'll be pretty. Let's just put that on there. I did a video on those stickers, my last Amazon haul, if you care to see what they all look like. That is going to be pretty. Yeah, you don't have to sew these. You can just glue them, but i just seen so many of them sewn on top. I want to do those. And I'm sure thousands of people have done altered playing cards and they look just marvelous, but I'm not a professional. I just do what I like and what I think looks cute. Let's see. Easiest way for a washi sticker. Do you see what I did? It has the plastic on the back, but if you'll just hold on to it, like right there, and just start pulling backwards, it like peels off a lot easier. And then pull it halfway down and fold that backwards. Place it where you want it without the sticker side touching. Then hold it on there and then stick the sticker part down. Then you can peel the other part off slowly. And it is stuck to where you want it to be stuck at. See? There you go. 
A lot of trial and error. I finally figured that out. See, the front looks adorable already. I really like it. But when I don't have sewing and all of that, everything on them, I like kind of like to have a writing the spot to write. So let's get rid of some of the words here. So you can see the card. If you want to see the card, I wonder if I put it over here, if we could just fold it up. Nah, let's not do that. Maybe another day. Not today. Where is, let's see. I liked, if I want to punch a hole and put dangles or anything, I like to do it opposite of where the number is. You can do it over the number if you want to. For some reason, I just like to do it that way. So I'm gonna glue that down. Turn a bit more off. Glue this down real quick here. Doesn't take a lot for book pages. Doesn't take a lot of glue. Yeah, let's scoot it over. It's still white. Let's press it down just a little bit. I like to go from the middle out. That way it squishes the glue out to the edges. See? That is cute. You don't have to do anything else to it. Whatsoever. You could stick in the sticker. And you have a little journal spot there. I am going to sew it just because I love to sew. But you don't have to. You don't have to do anything else to it. That's just adorable, I think. Just like that. And you have a journal spot. It's all scruffy up. But I will sew it later. I won't bore you with that now. I'm going to show you all of the ones I made because I'm so excited. Let me get my sewing machine kind of out of the way. There we go. Let's see. Get them all up here where you can see them all. They're so cute. Okay. saw that one that we just did. We didn't sew, we didn't punch holes, we didn't anything, and it looks really cute. And then we just did this one. That's cute. A little floating frame. The little dagger. Then I made this one. I just put the washi sticker on it. I sewed some lace on the outside. Just kind of jagged edge and I put a note card on the back of it you can get you can cut two note card you, one note card will cover the back of two cards and I just snipped it off there with pinking shears and sewed it on down there and glued it to that one and this one I put the red roses on it because this is going to go my Alice in Wonderland journal and just put some raggedy paper on raggedy uh material on there, gauze or whatever you call it, came off with some Halloween decoration. And then the back, we have pink, and then I cut the, all the corners off, pink and shears, you can't see it there, but I did, just so you can see the card. I like it. Scruffed it up, spot the journal on. I haven't decided if I want to put bees on that one or not yet. And this one is all dolled up it's in blue. I needed something blue. Just took some sheer um, ribbon, sewed it on there. Here's another floating frame. That's so cute. Here's the back of it. Back of the card. But on this side, I put it underneath the 
A and then just put button, put some um, beads on the paper clip so the paper clip stays on there a little better. <laughs> there we go. The bulb pin, the button, good use for safety pins. This is where I just tied it off and left a tiny bit of room to put the, the um, safety pin and the little key in there, but that's cute. Put another one. It's got the little bitty tiny. I think that's Tim Holtz, I'm not sure. If I have a uh, link, I'll put it down below. These are all really cute. Got the mushrooms. In the back, there's a place to journal. And I just greened up the sides. This one's really pretty. I like it. It's really pretty. I like the white flowers on it. And you can still see the black through it. And then there's a little journal spot there. Put the little number three card and a paper clip so you can put something else on it. And then some washi tape. And this is just the end of the note cards, the four by six note cards. I'm cutting this out of pinky shears and there's a little place to journal. Use some washi tape. You can just really, really alter them and this still looks like a playing card. This one's cute. I really like the little teeny tiny book. It's a miniature book. And you can buy them anywhere, and I just punched a hole in it with my awl. And a regular safety pin, just put some beads on it. There's a paper clip. There's another floating frame, another card in there. And that's a just a, where um, I ended up with the thread, so I just beaded it. So cute. It's getting really kind of, you know, doing really straight lines there. That's a That's a strange one for me. And this one's cute. It's got a little mushroom there. I wanted the mushroom, the floating mushroom. Floating mushroom. <laughs> mushroom in the floating frame. This right here piece is just from one of the cutouts. A little place to journal there. And this is just a, a charm, piece of charms and stuff I had left over from another project. Just leave the strings if you want to leave the strings. It looks cute. And that's the back of the piece of the card I cut out. And another mushroom, so cute. Got the Queen of Hearts card on there. I just hooked that little bitty pin down there. And this is all the strings. I just put beads in them. Like that. And I did that when I didn't like it hanging straight down. So I just glued it to the side. And that looks cute. And a little spot to journal. Just left those strings on there. And the last one. Hope I'm not boring you to death. I'm really proud of these. This is my first, really the first time I've done these, the altered cards. This one, I like I told you earlier, I had pulled off one of these. It's from my dried flower, but not even thinking that it's going to look all moldy or whatever. Didn't like it, so you see it sticking out behind there. I put the um, this little cutout on it that came from another card. And I just kind of went with the green theme here with the paper clip and some beads. But I just wanted to show you how I didn't like it. See how it looks on the back. Don't really care for that. I'm not sure how I'm going to cover it up or if I'm just going to keep it as a reminder that I don't like this. <laughs> I think if the brown, the looking mildew, moldy part, I think I would like it. But for now on, I know to dry my flower, my petals flat if I'm going to use them in the floating frame. But anyway, there they are. And then the two that we did today, this one is the no sew. You just glue your piece on and it looks just, I like both of them. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful day.